Hello, it's nearly uh, it's 5.40 p.m. but it's already extremely dark because it gets very dark right now uh, during the day. I just received my Carolyn Hiron Hall of Fame uh, package. So the one that I got is actually the Heroes and the only reason I got it to be honest is because it has the it has the male Lindstrom blue cocoon. So the blue cocoon from May Lindstrom is quite expensive and because you get it shipped from the US you have to also pay some shipping fees and you have to pay taxes and all that stuff. So actually getting this kit is makes even even like even though I paid for a couple extra products, this is effectively what I need. So this is the box, that's what it looks like. It just arrived. I'm a bit out of breath because I'm just so tired from having a long a long work day but I decided that I wanted to do this unboxing so I can start using my products right away so there is the infamous um, the infamous blue cocoon the reason why I bought this kit my god the light in here is horrible but anyway and uh, it has something a hashtag take it to the tits oh my god let me put you perhaps on my on my desk maybe that would be easier yeah much much better so take it to the tits is a hashtag because it's an expression that Caroline Hirons used to use so she would uh, whenever she talks about applying a product she says that you need to take it all the way down um, so that's that and the jar has that engraving in it and I'm going to start to use it actually um, right away I have quite a few moisturizers, but I just feel that it's so cold outside, and by definition, to counter it, it's so um, hot and dry indoors. But that's what the jar looks like, and it has that specific engraving, which typically is just a nod to Caroline Hirons, but it's not usually part of the thing. This is what the fresh jar looks like. It's very solid because it's it's very cold. But when it stays in my bathroom for a while, I think it will soften. And like I said, I'm going to start using it as of today because I missed it. It's very expensive, so I didn't immediately repurchase it. But since there, we had that opportunity, I was like, why not? Then we have Oskia Beta Beauty Boost. What is this? Nutri-active, nourishing and regenerating night cream. I have a night cream. I have a couple night creams so I'm just going to open that now I'm going to leave it in my bathroom maybe it's something I'm gonna use after after I finish this one but this typically lasts me a long time so we might be on days where I feel that my skin is more thirsty than dry we'll see what is this medicate and current hyron hyron so this is crystal retinal 6 stable retinal night serum I could always use a night serum, so I'll probably add that to my night routine. This is the Votary uh, um, cleansing cloth. I have lots of cleansing cloths, but I go, I use them all the time. This one is quite big, so it will make it to my rotation immediately. Matter of fact, I might use it today. Why not? Pixi Glow Tonic. This is not something I'm going to use right now because I bought the lotion P50 and that's what I have been using almost every night, not every day, but you know. Uh, so once I finish that one, I will start using this one. Once I finish this one, I might buy the bigger bottle of P50, but that's good. Uh, I, I only had one toner on rotation. Tan Lux and Super Glow. This is Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. I'm black. I don't need self tan so this probably is something that I'm gonna find someone to give to I have a white friend he might he might need that then Josh Rosebrook hydrating accelerator this is a hydrated facial mist I've heard a lot pro about Josh Rosebrook from Carolyn Hirons because she keeps praising him never tried the brand 
I'm not going to use it now because I currently have my Caudalie grape water and that's what I use whenever I want to moisturize my skin before massaging an oil or now that I have the balm back in my rotation whenever I massage the balm. It might be that every now and then if I don't feel like using the Caudalie, I switch it around with this one. Um, so I might do that. And then the last thing is the Jordan Samuel Skin, the After Show Treatment Cleanser. Again, another brand that Carolyn Hires has been raving about because she really likes the person. I never tried any of his stuff. Um, I'm going to, this is for sensitive skin, I'm going to use it as a first cleanse. I think, um, like I have this much left of my Aesop in Two Minds cleanser, but I'm a bit bored with it. And also I feel like my skin needs a cleanser that is slightly more gentle because the Aesop one has salicylic acid and which hazel which are good whenever you have active acne, but I don't. Um, so I just feel like this is, again, something that I'm going to start immediately as of tomorrow morning. So that is what's in the kit. Um, there were no waiting queues, nothing. I just, I, I saw it on her website. I ended up buying it, and that's it. Because I remember, I think, a couple of years ago, I wanted to buy one of her kits, and it was a nightmare because you needed to refresh the page, and there were some issues. And I'm not about that life. If something is not straightforward, I'm not one of those people who would, you know, queue and whatever. So this time, because it was pretty straightforward, I ended up getting it. So I'm going just to put a couple things in recycling, and then I'm going to put these things in my bathroom, and then remove my makeup. God, I'm so tired. But yeah. I have uh, I have to work afterwards, but I think I'm gonna just take a, a, a nice break and try to eat something and then I go back to work. Good morning. I have been buying lots of things recently and for some reason in my brain I always have that yin and yang where I kind of feel like I need to do a, an empties um, video just for, for me to feel like it's balanced, right? Because I have been buying quite a few things. Um, so let me start i have a few things that are dental related so i have this wake and mouthwash remember i had stopped buying it but now i restarted uh, purchasing it because i tried the listerine and didn't enjoy it so i have this one in peppermint they have changed the packaging so now it is plastic no longer aluminum this um does not hurt my my gums i wouldn't say i have sensitive gums i actually have very very healthy gums but i just don't like the the mouthwash that are that stinks so much i used to like them when i was much younger now i just no i don't like it so it's just a, a very mild mouthwash with fluoride uh it has it has a peppermint uh flavor it is um it's actually it has a uh, natural peppermint in it so it's just something that is a bit milder and makes me feel better about myself i guess then I have these dental pod premium sterilizing tablets. This is something that you put in a sonic cleanser to clean your retainer. I don't use my mouth guard because I because I have um, I clench my teeth. I'm supposed to wear it during the day and night. I only wear it at night, and I really need to get better at wearing it during the day. But I was getting so many ads on this, and I ended up buying the the device and also the these. Uh, it doesn't clean well. Uh, so I would not recommend in getting the dental pod. I was just bombarded with ads for it. Um, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't say I regret buying it because it's better than nothing, but it's nowhere near as good as it claimed to be. And that was very disappointing. Then I have a few bits of hair care. The Kerastas Curl Manifesto. This is, uh, this is effectively their, their shampoo. They call the shampoo Bain, which is like bath. Um, it's, it's a really nice shampoo, <clears throat> but I think it's it's a bit overpriced. I wouldn't mind repurchasing it, actually. If it is on sale, I would buy it again. Um, Castas products are quite enjoyable for me. I, I'm not really that paranoid about sulfates and non-sulfates, but I did actually repurchase the whole line of Deva Curl because I recently found them on Look Fantastic, so I ended up buying the full lineup. And... Um, I have replaced this with a shampoo from Caracare. Um, once I finish that, I will start wear, uh, using the Deva Curl line again. I, I have seen recently there was some polemic, I think about 18 months ago, uh, with people using Deva Curl and it's uh, making their hair fall. So I don't know about that, but I'm not that fast. It's just hair, it grows again. 
Then I finished this mask, Rasta's mask, mask Intense. I have already mentioned this before. It has a very big sentimental value for me because I love the smell. It is a mask that my mom was wearing, um, like used to use when I was a child and actually throughout her life. Um, so I kind of just, I had, a, I had a weak moment where I just missed my mom a lot. And for some reason I saw this and I said, you know what, let me get it. Very good product. Uh, again, like for all Kiasa things, relatively overpriced. But I wouldn't hesitate to repurchase. Uh, right now, I'm using the Kiasa's mask from this line. I'm about to finish it, but you'll probably see it in the December empties. What else do I have for hair? Uh, the Curl Love Moisture Make by Camille Rose. This is a brand that is very affordable. Um, you can even buy it from Boots. I think that it's very good value for money. And I really like this pink line. I, I once had tried the line that was um, uh, coconut based and it, it had a blue uh, label. I did not like it at all. It almost made my hair crunchy. And you know, I'm very, 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 very low maintenance. So I like something where I don't have to think too much. And I think all the products with the pink packaging from Camille Rose are at a very sweet price point and just work for my hair. Uh, I just every now and then I kind of get bored with the with the scent. This this line is rice milk and macadamia oil. I would never ever get again the coconut um, lineup from them. Uh, that was it for hair. Let's move to face. I have a few things for face, I guess. So. I recently bought uh, the lotion P50. I will show you it in my um, in my beauty cabinet because, as you know, every time that I do my empties, I always show you my updated uh, beauty cabinet look. Now, I didn't want to use it with cotton pads, so I ended up buying this sterile gauze from Boots, but this only had five. And uh, I would probably reuse them a few times before they completely start disintegrating. But I thought it was extremely expensive because it's sterile. So while I had bought three of these, um, I waited a bit and then I bought some non-sterile goes online because this is not for wound dressing, it's just to apply the product. And I would think once I, I get really used to the product, I will eventually, maybe in a few months, just start dropping it on my um, on my palm and maybe using it. I tried once, but I felt that it wasn't as good and I felt like most of it went to my palm. So for now, I'm sticking to goes. Then I have this Peppermint Facial Wash by the Organic Pharmacy. Um, I, For some reason, this kind of reminded me of the... I think it's mostly the peppermint part of it, but it reminded me of... I'll be back. I am back. That was my fiber engineer because I'm getting fiber installed. You would have noticed that for... Um, I was not as regular in publishing my videos. There were some months where... some weeks where I would publish and, and not. And that's because I had lots of technical issues. Um, you would have seen in one of my vlogs that I had lost the thing that I used to to um, to transfer the, the videos into my MacBook. Also, my MacBook is 12 years old, so sometimes I can't make iMovie work on it. I would need eventually to buy a new MacBook. I don't know why I still didn't do it. I just tend to... Like, there are certain things that just go, you know... I'm done. They're on my to-do list for ages. I might just need to get it online or something. And then the third thing was my unreliable internet. Um, so I have been working from home and suffering quite a lot from my internet uh, because I do many, many hours of calls a day. And my connection has been extremely unstable. I've had days where I had no internet. I've had days where I'd be talking and then things block. Um, I use a hotspot. So I just decided that um, because in my neighborhood they're installing fiber, I'm trying, I'm getting a connection to that. So the engineer came, this is like the third time somebody comes. First time it was to assess whether it was feasible. Second time was yesterday when they installed uh, the box. And today they're trying to make a connection. And I think in a few days they will finally connect everything. But yeah, that's why I had to go. Uh, so let's continue with the empties. Uh, so this is the Organic Pharmacy Peppermint Facial Wash. Like I said, this is something that... Um, I used, I think it was relatively mild, but because my skin currently is relatively dry and dehydrated, it might have been a bit much. Or it might be just because it has peppermint and it reminds me of all those cleansers that I used to use as a teenager. And so in my head, I feel that it's one of those drying ones. Anyway, 
I finished the whole thing, but I would not repurchase. Right now I'm using the Jordan Samuels one as my morning cleanse. Then the Maylins from The Youth Do. This is the Balancing Facial Serum. I really, 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 really liked this. Um, even independently of how, how expensive that is, I think this was the best serum I have ever used. Like I would put it on and I would really enjoy massaging my skin. Uh, bizarrely, I thought it was done and then it went on for an, a good extra month after I thought it was finished. So very, very misleading bottle. This is 30 ml, but it lasted me for so, so long that it was completely worth the money. Um, my skin just feels amazing uh, with this and it just layers so well with other products. Right now I'm using the Demamiel Autumn Oil. It's, a, it's also an expensive oil and it comes in a 20 ml bottle. But when I use it, I just feel I'm not sure how to layer it with other things because because it's an oil. I don't know whether I can uh, put a moisturizer on top because normally I like to put this and then either a moisturizer or a balm on top because while it is a, a, a kind of an oil, it is really a serum, just very oily. The other thing, because I know it's a straight up oil, I just feel like I can no longer use my balms because I don't know how to layer them. But at the same time, I don't want to put a, a moisturizer and then the oil. So I'm going to use that Demamiel Autumn Oil, but uh, eventually uh, I would like to repurchase this because that was amazing. Uh, I think it's one of my favorite, favorite products from Made Instrum. So in order of, of what I like the most, I would say the... Mm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, it's a tie with the problem solver. I would say... The problem solver, then this, then the blue cocoon. That's the trio that I absolutely love. I still have uh, a couple of things from her, but these three are the ones I would be repurchasing over and over again. And I finished the uh, Bobbi Brown uh, Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. This is the same thing as the Vitamin Enriched uh, um, um, Moisturizer for the face. You feel that your face is plump when you use it, and this has the exact same effect. It was extremely enjoyable to use. This was just a sample, but it lasted me forever. Again, just a tiny dab, and it's enough. That went on for, for, for ages. I'm not sure I would repurchase just because I don't really have the patience to apply an, um, an eye cream. If I were to have it as another sample, that would be the first thing I open. And I would use it like I did, but I don't. I just don't feel like going and on purpose buying an eye cream. Then this is the Demamiel Skin Recovery Blend. I got this as a sample and it's. it also has blue tansy. It's meant to be almost... Uh, it kind of looks like the Mei Lindstrom Blue Cocoon, but it's not as blue, so I assume it has less blue tansy. It does not claim to do the same, I guess, but when I used this, I tried to compare it to the Blue Cocoon. I felt that this one um, just wasn't as... Like the Blue Cocoon, when you put it on, it immediately melts in your hand, and when you apply it, it just becomes a balm. This one, I still feel that it had a bit of grit in it, and it took some work in, into the skin to, to get to that texture, to that very oily texture. And I felt that also it left my skin very soft, but comparing the two, I still prefer the Blue Cocoon. So I will not repurchase um, the Demamiel uh, Skin Recovery Blend. I will stick, stick with the Blue Cocoon from May Lindstrom. Then I have this one mask from the Organic Pharmacy, and this is the Stabilized Vitamin C Corrective Mask. I had it and I thought, you know what, I don't want to just keep it for forever, because I only had it a few weeks ago, so I said I will use it. I initially thought it would be an opaque mask, it actually ended up being a very, very light one. I'm not sure if you have one application where you get any difference, but I just wanted to, to, to just use it. Um, I'm not using much things with vitamin C, but I will start very soon. Um, I will not repurchase it. I just don't feel like it was enjoyable. And for me, masks have to be part of self-care, so I need to enjoy the experience. Now, on a couple of things, I would go body and then a couple of lifestyle things. So body, I have this Revolution Skincare. This is AHA. AHA smoothing body cleanser and that's just because I noticed recently I have these little bumps and I think partly because my skin is dry and everything and I thought um, 
I would start using something exfoliating. Um, I don't really like it that much. I have been in a rut when it came to when it comes to body cleansers. I have a few because I kept. I used the soap. I used a few things. I bought two of these. Um, I finished one. I currently am using the other, but I don't use it every day. I just uh, use quite a few different cleansers just because I get bored. Um, I don't like it that much. I think it has too much of a fruity scent. So yeah, I'm not gonna repurchase. I would finish the second one I have probably in January because I don't even want to start it because I don't like the smell, but it's in my bathroom. And then the Total Distress Bath Oil from Tisserand. This has geranium, orange and nutmeg, you know, I like this line. Uh, this was the last oil I had from them. I'm not going to repurchase because I have a lot of things in my bathroom and I'm just trying to uh, kind of use what I have. So it will be a while until I repurchase that. And then I have a couple candles. So this one is from Penaligans. It is a perfumer uh, on the King's Road. And this is English Fern. Um, it didn't burn very clean, you can see here but that's fine uh, i had it for a long time because i bought this three years ago when i had just moved into my place and i wanted to have something for my for my new apartment at the time this thing was new um so i've had it since i think i had burnt it and then didn't burn it again but i just wanted to start burning all the candles that i had so that i could buy new ones that's how it goes so i finished this one i wouldn't repurchase it i just didn't feel like it was a clean burn my favorite brand for uh, candles is Parks London. You've seen me finish a lot of these. Look at this very clean burn. Not a bit of wax at the bottom. That's burnt all the way through. Um, this one is Cedarwood from their aromatherapy line. I really enjoyed it. I oh, This was my last Parks London uh, um, candle. So I act I've actually ordered their big ones, the three week ones. I've always wanted to have the big ones. Um, right now I'm burning a candle from Cartier that I received as a gift and I also bought some very inexpensive unscented uh, pillar candles from Flying Tiger um, but uh, my I think I'm getting my Parks candles somewhere mid-December because uh, delivery takes forever but anyway then I had a couple supplements that I wanted to share so this is from Holland and Barrett from the East Meets west line this is ashwagandha formula it's kind of a some kind of ayurvedic root uh, that is meant to help you relax so i had this thing uh, because i've been suffering with um insomnia it's just something that i've always had try to do something about it so i tried this i finished it in the meantime i bought another uh, ashwagandha supplement from elite health i'm not sure whether it works because right now I'm, I'm on a cocktail of things but yeah trying everything and then the other thing is this holy basil uh, B complex it supports the nervous system um, this makes your urine look very yellow just so you know um, I've been using this for a month I'm not sure whether it helps or not but it's just because I had such uh, mental fatigue I've been working so hard um, so I just wanted to get something like that again I have replaced it by with uh, something from the same line from from Holland and Barrett called Cognitive Formula. So just something to help myself. Then I have this Lavender Essential Oil. It has a couple drops, but I just am unable to take it. And again, because of the insomnia, I used to just put a couple drops on my pillow, fluff it, and then be ready for sleep, which actually reminds me I have stopped doing this. I need to start doing that again, because I feel like it used to help um, with the sleep ritual. This is just a little, uh, hair clip that i broke because i have very thick hair and two pens i finished this one is from the steinberger which is the hotel i stayed at when i interviewed for my brussels job so many years ago and this is just one of the pens that i always had like dozens of i'm, I'm really going through a lot of pens right now but that is it so i'm going to recycle these things and I need to go to a meeting now, but once I finish it, I will show you what I have in my beauty cabinet so you see what I have been buying recently. Right, so as it is tradition, here is my beauty cabinet. These are the latest things I have been using. This was in the Caroline Hirons kit and I have been using it ever since I got it. I really love it. You can see I already dented it. I just really enjoy using this because 
um, I like using it as my first cleanse. There are certain days, especially over the past couple of weeks where I haven't been wearing much makeup, so I would also use it as, a, as an um, evening cleanse. I have here my Medicaid Crystal Retinol 6. I really like that. I just feel that it reminds me of uh, Dermaceuticals. Uh, yeah. They had a cream that I really enjoyed that, that had the same consistency and effect as this. Uh, I'm currently using Medicaid almost every day and every now and then whenever I feel that my skin is completely dry, like somewhere, you know, like during the day or if I had to go out, I'd just drop up with this Quantum Botanica one. Um, every now and then I would use this hydration accelerator. Um, this is from Josh Rosbrook. It was also in the Hall of Fame from Karen Hiron. And this is my latest purchase in Byron, uh, Focus Care and Radiance. I just bought it today, so I did not start using it. I'll probably start using it as of tomorrow. But I just reorganized this a little bit. Um, and I'm back to using my little Rimmel nail polish. It just looks amazing. I always get compliments on it. People cannot believe that it's not a gel. Uh, but I, yeah, I really like it. My hands are extremely dry. My skin is extremely dry. Look at this. That's sad. So I'm gonna have to do something about it. But yeah, this is my beauty cabinet.